G'day mate, welcome back to Suicide Guy Sleeping Deeply. We, we've had our 99.9% our .9 alcoholic beer, we've gone for a big nap. So we're going to go for the next level. Um, gold. Pull the gun. I've got a reset timer. Start. Machine. Goldberg machines never work. Oh, I've got to knock the ball off. Okay. Fast enough for this. Hit the reset button, let's go again. Reset. Start. New ball. Jump. Jump. Bounce, thud, spin a wheel, platform. Jump. Whoop. I'm losing Down here. Jump to that one. Yes. Back to the start. It just got darker again. Sideways. There's stuff happening over there. I'm way behind. <sighs> there. Oh, second jump. Jump, 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 climb, climb, climb. climb. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. One of the cards that are running on a magnet. Right now. All right, then we go to here. Jump over this crap. Up here. Off the bouncer. Onto this thing. Solo cup. Solo cup. I fall. Uh, 
It's like an obstacle course at the same time. Oh. Try again. I'm going to get all the way to the end and I'm going to find out this one thing that requires that ball to be moving. I need to have done this perfectly timed to get to the other end in time. Magnet, magnet, up. That's that ball. Is there some hidden ladder at the back of the map? That'd be awesome. Crouch under. No. That'd make my life far too easy. I love how the magnets disrupt your field of vision. That's an interesting way to point out that they're important. Okay, bounce off there, land on there. Jump. Solo cups are slippery. that are operated on a magnet. Onto the can of not coke. Down with the elevator. On the elevator we go. Up to the top. Oh, the platform's extended. Oh, don't fall. Where the hell's that take me? Sideways elevator. Really? Oh, we go look at the whole Goldberg machine from here. It's nice. Okay. Uh, no. That's really not nice because that gun's not loaded anymore. that work? No! I broke the game. Again. This happened last time as well. Hmm. Uh, restart level. Oh. Okay, touch the ball. It only took me like eight attempts. What?! I don't make it through this thing. Let's start with some sort of review. So, the game is four dollars, and look, honestly, yeah, look, I would, I would definitely pay if, if I, if I, if it had less platforming and more puzzle solving, um, I would pay the whole four dollars. I just unfortunately suck at platforming. Um, it's just not something I got into as a kid. That owned PlayStations and um, um, I want to say Sega, no, Master Master 
Mega Drive, Mega Drive, there we go, it came to me. Um, all those old consoles, um, a lot of the early games, I'm stuck. Okay. Um, a lot of the early games were platformers. Um, between your Mario and your Sonics and everything like that, there, there were a lot of platformers. Um, unfortunately, I didn't... Um, I didn't own early consoles, so... I didn't get into the whole platforming thing, so my platforming skills SUCK! I do know a lot of you, and you'll, you go down and comment in the comment section. Right? You enjoy watching me suffer through these games. Um, but I will say, look, it's 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 a one-man dev team, and from a one-man dev team, um, this is this is really really good. I, I I was somewhat amazed with the first one, and I'm also amazed with the second one. Cool. That was the gun. Okay, so hit reset. If I could just climb up those books, I'd be fine. I just take the elevator right to the end. Wait for the gun to get to me. Okay, so we hit start. Reset. Start. New ball for the 18th time. Tag. Um, yeah, I... The closest I came to a platformer, because they weren't really released on PC, was, um... I should believe not, was Blind Blind in the game. Which was a... It was a vertical platformer, but most of the time you were climbing up the map rather than traversing the map horizontally. Um, which was definitely odd for a platformer. Um, but yeah, it's that's probably the closest I came to real platforming. Come down. No! No! I was so close. Has to be some sort of backup plan. Once you can get to the elevator, traverses ah, back to the start of the map. There has to be one, some sort of way to hit the reset switch and get back to the elevator. And that way you could actually observe the whole machine running. Because unfortunately, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm platforming against a timer. Which is definitely gives you, you know, the adrenaline running. Definitely gives you the adrenaline shot that that a lot of platformers are known for. You know that that sense of urgency. Um, the catch is, this is running. Oh, 
with a Goldberg machine, which... Like, half the fun of a Goldberg machine is actually watching it happen. Okay, jump to there. Jump to there, jump to there, jump to there, jump to there, jump to there. Jump to there. Jump. Yeah, if I had my slingshot in the first that you, you picked up in the first game, then I could just shoot the restart button, then shoot the ball to start it off. Right, elevator down. Elevator up. Oh, come on! Too fat for the elevator box. Okay, so there's the gun, there's the ball. What's down there? Huh? Just a box. Okay. Elevator back to the start of the map. straight across the solar cups. Reset. Start. New ball. Go rolling. I don't hear you rolling. I hit it too hard. Oh. Right, come on. We're on this mission for 15, 17 minutes now. 18 minutes. I stuck that much at platform. It's got probably like a three minute part time or something. Yeah, see, I remember part times. I did platform. Oh. No, it's the civil answer. Being fat, I'll be able to stay on the on the thing. What's to stop me from being dominant? I can't get through there. That's what stops me from being the domino. Or being the ball that knocks the dominoes. Okay, fine. Hit the start button. Give the ball love to Putting it out there. If I get to 30 minutes and I haven't passed this level, I'm gonna officially rage quit. Just because that sound of that marble and those dominoes is getting to me. Oh, he won't jump fast enough. I keep hitting space and it's like. It's like he's landed, but the knees haven't finished absorbing the impact, so he's not ready to jump again just yet. There we go. Bounce. Bounce. 
solar cap, solar cap, solar cap. Almost full of the edge. One of them, one of them, one of them. Jump up there, climb up that, climb up that, climb up that, up there. Missed the jump, but I landed it anyway. <laughs> Fuck! That one almost ended it horribly. Okay, up here. Off the diving board. On to the. whatever this hell this thing is. Solar fucking cups again. Oh no! I don't think I can make the whole loop again fast enough. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right there. Yep. So my option from here is to run back to the start. Reset button. Hit the start button. Jump to the Jump to the Tap tap tap. That pops. That pops. Platform comes down. We jump on the platform. Across there. Up to there. Bouncy bouncy. Around the corner. Through the damn treacherous solo cups. Oh, okay. Alright, last attempt. After this, I rage quit. Solo cups. Jump, jump, jump. Platform, platform, platform. Climb, climb, you tubby bastard. Run across there. Jump up these. Stabilize myself before I can move on to the next section. Solo cup, solo cup, solo cup, solo cup. No, I should have waited. I quit. It's been fun. It's been a ball. It's 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 a platformer, and I suck at platformers. Um, had I waited, I still don't think I would have made it. To be honest. Um, you know, let me just lick the inside of the barrel or something. Pick the bullet fragments back up and reload it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Or just step out the window and kill myself that way. That works too. Drop a bowling ball on my head? That would work. If that was a legitimate option. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call it here. Look, it's a platforming game. And unfortunately, I'm just so horrible at them that it's not my sort of game. But on a purely um, objective point of view, um, it's a good little game. It, it, it really, really is. It, it does have a lot of platforming in it. Um, it also has a good amount of um, problem solving, uh, which I love. Um, and yeah, it's $4. And it's not like a DLC where you have to buy the original version to then play the DLC. <coughs> that came out of nowhere. Um, this is like a a a part two to the story. Um, not that I know that there's actually a lot of story to the story, but we're going to leave it there. So thank you guys for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, as always, do Let's Tries every weekend on both both the Saturday and the Sunday. So normally we get through two games a week, sometimes a few more, sometimes a few, few less. Um, but I do hope you've enjoyed this one. And as always, thoughts, comments, suggestions, all that sort of stuff down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.